Welcome to the Macintosh operating system tutorial. Uh, this is the first one and some of you may need this, some of you may not. So if you need this, here you go. This is just an intro to the uh, Macintosh operating system to make your life a little bit easier. And let's start out by talking about um, what we're going to be talking about here. We're talking about the Finder the dock and saving. So first of all, the dock. The dock has all of your programs, all of your software here that you're going to be using, hopefully. And you can do all kinds of things with this dock. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. You can go up here and hide it so that you get it out of the way. If you're working on something that takes your whole screen, you can uh, probably want to make it visible again. Uh, if you don't, the next person is going to be fishing around for it. And you can magnify it here if you're having trouble seeing. Uh, once again, this can be very irritating if you leave it on for the next person, so be a good guy and take the dock and magnifying off. You can move it around. Let's say you want to get it out of your way. Put it on the left, put it on the right. Uh, sometimes you want to have it out of the way so that you can work on what you're working on, but once again, be sure to put it back to where you found it. And also, like I say, that's this is where you find your programs. So you're going to be double clicking on these and it'll open them up to work on whatever you're going to be working on. And you can also quit a program from the dock, hold it down, and quit it. Yeah, now let's say you want to work on a Photoshop document, but gosh, where's my Photoshop? It's not in here. Everybody else has Photoshop. Maybe my computer doesn't have Photoshop. So you'll double click here on, or single click on the Finder. And you'll notice in the Finder here, we've got different views. We have, you can just see the icons, have a list, or have columns, and even this new fancy one in uh, 10.5, which will show you, it's kind of neat, but I don't know how useful it is. And I usually go for columns because you just see hierarchy here. You can see folders inside of folders. Here, if we see on our left column, we have, this is our hard drive, different hard drives, different partitions partitions. Uh, inside our hard drive we have our applications, all the applications you need. And remember we were going to replace Photoshop. So let's find Adobe Photoshop. Find the application, not the folder. Here it says application. Pull that down and we can put it right back into the folder, into the dock. Notice also that our library is here. These are just things, the inner workings of the uh, computer that you won't be messing with. And you also have users, people that use the computer, obviously. And I am logged into this one. So if I click here, these are all the places I can save and all the different... Um, ways that I can get into the preferences for my specific uh, user interface. We have the desktop, which is obviously this desktop, my desktop. A uh, word about the desktop, please do not leave things on the desktop. The desktop is a good place to put things temporarily, uh, but it can slow down the computer if you have a lot of things on the desktop that aren't in folders. 
documents if you have word documents that you're saving uh, everything that you download which we are at school so be careful there uh, the library and you may have things going on here during the class uh, store your movies in here your music pictures and this is a place that everybody else can get to your computer if you want to save something for somebody else you can put it in your Dropbox and sites so just for uploading so there you go now we want to actually save a document so we'll click here on Photoshop does a little bounce we'll make a new document whatever the default is is fine and let's just do a little something here arbitrarily and if we save this We'll save as. This particular one is a picture, so let's just save it in pictures. Call it something. A lot of fun. Okay. Let's save it in pictures. Now, if you want to uh, get out of a program, this just closes. You're only closing there. Uh, to actually, you'll see here there's this little light under Photoshop, which means it's still working. You click on it, boom. It's, uh, it's always open. To actually get rid of it, we have to do Photoshop quit or uh, option Q, and that will quit Photoshop. If you don't quit your programs, you'll have a lot of them open, and that'll be hogging your RAM and will slow down your computer eventually. So there you go.